I'm currently on my way to, oh, I need to calm down because the roads are frozen. On my way to Bingo in the set, Leon Cupra. I'm giving this car away for free to one of my subscribers. In fact, by the time this video goes live, I probably would have already announced a winner and handed it over to the winner. And I'll have a minute video going live soon, introducing you lot to the winner of this car. Uh, but if you want to be in for a chance of winning stuff for nothing, cars and other stuff, uh, hit the link in the description. It's planetofdreams.co.uk. And the rules are, you must be a supporter of my social media platforms. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, you are not welcome to enter. This stuff is funded by YouTube ad revenue, all right? So, um, yeah, today is a really, really interesting video. I'm going to pick up a car that I've bought unseen, and I've, let's rewind a little bit. I bought four cars unseen from British car auctions, right? Uh, I never buy from auctions. I've got a company of my own, uh, the car buying shop, where we buy cars from private sellers. A lot of them are you lot. You come to me to buy cars. I get to test drive them, see them, meet the owner, and I just feel like it's a better way of buying cars. So as a rule, we do not buy from auctions, all right? Uh, but we had an absolutely crazy weekend. We sold loads of cars, and I came in on Monday. I was like, boys, we need to buy some cars. So we've been a bit proactive, bought four cars from BCA, three of which we've collected already, and they've all got major mechanical engine issues, right? This is why I don't like buying from auctions because I feel like it's just a massive gamble. But today I'm more concerned about my Civic Type R, which is the fourth car on the lot. It is a low mileage example. My confidence really is in the brand Honda because they're bloody good cars. Uh, all the mileage stacks up, so a low mileage Honda engine should be fine, right? So I really am hoping that the fourth of the four cars is a good one, so I might actually earn out of this one, not lose. But we'll see, all right? So yeah, I'm almost at Binker now. What we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna arrive there, get a taxi, head over to their site in Bedford, and fingers crossed, I've bought one decent car this week. Good one, man. Yeah, yeah, good to meet you, man. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Yeah, this is interesting, isn't it? So I've just arrived and there's lots of cars here. I've never actually been here before. I've been here to do a track day. It's a Furley business park. Uh, I think Palmer Sport do race days here. It was a pretty, pretty good day out. Uh, but I'm not here for that today. I'm here to buy a car. So let's go for a little wander around and go and find this Type R, yeah? Oh, wait, hold on. That looks like the Type R over there. Yes, uh, we've got to go find the key. Oh, there's a bloke over there. Let's go and ask him. That's it, thank you. Just popped up there for you. Cheers, cheers. Right guys, you ready for this? The big reveal of my premier edition. I don't think I mentioned that yet. Uh, 2006 EP3 Civic Type R. You know, I think what I need to do is get out of this car park and put it somewhere where we've got a bit of space so I can have a better look around it. God, it is cold today, but yeah, it's it's ticking over all right. I think what we'll do, we'll let it get warm and uh, we'll get out on the road. And it's got a tiny bit of fuel in it as well, which is which is nice, enough to get me to a petrol station. <laughs> Sounds all right. Sounds all right. So yeah, let's get outside and see what it drives like. Guys, it's doing as it should. We're in first gear, it's moving. Uh, up to second gear. So far, so good, guys. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to pull over, uh, get some shots of it, then we'll hit the road and just see how it drives, all right? We've got a bit more space to walk around it now. So I've just driven it from there to here, and so far, it's, it's spot on. I've only gone through two gears, uh, but it is a very, very nice thing so far. Visually, it's quite nice as well. Funny thing when you stood with a camera is everyone just looks at you like you're up to no good. I'm not up to no good. I'm just uh, just trying to buy and sell cars, guys. So yeah, Nighthawk Black uh, Premier Edition, which has got the tinted rear windows, which looks really nice. Uh, obviously the stock wheels, which I love the stock wheels in these cars. I think they just suit this car perfectly. Uh, Nighthawk Black. Let's hop in on the inside. Something else the Premier Editions have got. Look at these cars. Look, all these deals happening all the time. Deals, deals, deals. On it on it 
It's the only way you achieve anything in life. Um, yeah, Premier Edition's got the Momo steering wheel. See the badge at the bottom there. It's got red carpets, red inserts in the door cards, and it's got the Recaro seats as well. I think that's pretty much it. There's subtle differences, but they are things that, you know, us petrol heads do really like. But we've got no oil lights on the dash. We've got no funny noises coming from under the engine. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll see how it drives in a sec. Uh, but I did just want to have a little proper wander around it. Bodywork looks really good. Um, and yeah. I'm actually quite impressed with this car. It looks like quite a nice thing. So let's grab the tripod, chuck that in the boot of the car, get back in the driver's seat and hit the road now at long last. Yeah, I'd say these seats sort of sit higher up than the normal Type R seats, which I think that's quite a good thing because you, you know, otherwise you sat really far down. Good for me anyway, because I've got these stupidly long legs. 52,000 miles. Let's quickly just pull up the uh, HPI. May as well quickly show you that. So we've got the logbook here as well. Four former keepers. I won't show you the logbook because it's got uh, the previous owner's details on it. But it came from Leon C. I've never been to Leon C before, but it's a million miles away from where I am currently. And that owner there bought the vehicle on the 18th of October 2020, so he's had it, what's he had it, just over a year, so uh, HPI, HPI, I've got it on screen now, there you go, should we put it there, should we put it there, I don't know, whichever one suits in edit, uh, five registers of kit, clears, all HPI clear and blah de blah, uh, four former keepers, six speed manual, it doesn't actually say premier edition on the HPI, and I'm pretty, pretty sure it doesn't say it on the logbook either on these, let's have a look, uh, da, da, da. Uh, no Civic Type R, that's it. But it is a Premier Edition, unless someone's robbed a Premier Edition and stuck all the bits in it, which I don't think they have. Uh, seems like quite an honest car. And it's got a whole pile of uh, paperwork down here as well. I'll show you that in a sec, let's just quickly fly through the HPI. National Mind Register is all clear, that's really important. And the cap book value of this car is with 160,000 miles, which it doesn't have. If we scroll back to 70, that's all we can do. Uh, retail 8750 now I paid I can't remember exactly what the invoice value was about 8,800 quid uh, for this car retail values of the facelift type R's full stop with this kind of mileage they start at 10,000 pounds so I would say the va value of this car is in the region of 10 to 11 I don't know exactly it is a premier edition so it might even be a bit more than that I wanted to see the car first and then judge what I feel its value is so I'm quite pleased with it so far let's just quickly have a look at this history yeah it's got really good service history so um, we've got loads of Honda service receipts we've got one two three four five six Seven stamps in total. Yeah, the history is really good. So we've got a stack of paperwork here with loads of uh, Honda invoices as well. A few old MOTs, which is which is also quite nice to see. Uh, obviously, we've got two keys as well, which I mentioned earlier, which is nice. Uh, we've got loads of stamps in the book. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in total. And then we've also got an ape service here by the looks of things. Uh, I'll cover up the previous owner's details. Uh, but that was on the 28th of June, 2021 and that was a service was that a service yeah a full service with spark plugs and that was done at 51,000 where's the mileage 51,442 miles so that weren't long ago at all right so yes guys I'm confident this car's gonna be fine let's stop banging on let's hit the roads and see what this VTEC's saying yeah done a big couple of videos on the one that we've just given away on Planet of Dreams and that car's got a big induction kit so that roars when it's in VTEC but this car is definitely completely stopped because it's not making any abnormal noises good and bad yeah no funny noises from anywhere but uh, but yeah the engine in particular it I wouldn't say it's had any tuning done it's got stock exhaust stock air filter and it is all doing as it should high revving no smoke just what you'd expect of a Honda Civic Type R. So what is really strange, I know I just mentioned it, but the seat, you do sit a lot higher. But yeah, in a nutshell, I think I'm gonna do all right out of this car. It's a decent bit of stock, it's a lovely car. But the point of me doing this video is 
to show everyone really the risk of being a car trader. Like I've just spoke to a couple of traders at the auction there and they're like, you know what, I just keep buying cars and, and getting stung. And it ain't, it's just the nature of the car trade. Used cars, they do have their issues. Um, buying from auctions in general is quite tough. I, like I said earlier, I don't buy in auctions because I think it's too much of a gamble. I'm not in business to gamble. If I wanted to gamble, I'd go down to bloody casino. I want to make calculated decisions and buy things that I know I'm going to earn money on. Ultimately, that is why we're all in business now. And that is exactly why we set up the car buying shop 10 years ago now we started doing the, on our car buying shop journey because I want to meet the owners. I want to meet matey from Leon C and talk to him about his his ownership the time that he's owned this car and talk to him about why he's selling it and stuff like that and I want to test drive it before I buy it doing all this buying unseen that I just I can see why a lot of car traders struggle to earn money because it's just it's not a great great way to run a business so um, another trader there with his trade plates in the window but nevertheless I absolutely love the car trade. I love buying and selling used cars. I obviously love cars as well. I love doing a deal and it's a great trade to be a part of. So uh, I do know I've got a lot of traders that follow me and despite the, the difficulties, it is great fun. And every now and then you do get a nice bit of stop. Sorry, I just had to cut it there. The car needed fuel basically and I thought, you know, I'll deal with the fuel situation and then get back on the road. But we're 10 minutes down the line now and this car, yeah, it's driving spot on. And I am really pleased with it. It's a great bit of stock. It's a great example of a facelift Civic Type R. It's nice to have a Premier Edition as well, but because I've actually never had one. Currently getting overtaken by a Tesla Model 3. Uh, but that's completely irrelevant. But uh, yeah, it is a nice car. Low mileage, uh, good history, four former keepers, and it's a good spec car. So, uh, but I think the main motive for me for doing this video was, was basically to show you lot the risk as a used car trader. I'm not trying to put anyone off being a car trader because it's a great trade. I absolutely love being a car trader. It's great fun. Uh, but when you're buying from auctions, it's a definite, it's a tough trade. It's a, it's a risk. It's a gamble. You don't know what you're buying half the time. So of the four cars that I bought this week from auction, it's looking like I'm going to lose money out of three of them. And the fourth one, it, the profit I make out of this car ain't going to make up for the losses that I make on the other cars. So although this was a, this one was definitely worth buying, uh, the others definitely weren't. It's a waste of time. A waste of money and it's just one big headache this auction stuff it just ain't for me I'm now uh, heading back to Binka need to get myself a bit of lunch I'm gonna get this car back get it photographed get it up for sale and hopefully get it sold by the time this video goes live anyway I'm gonna leave it as that thank you very much for watching I hope you like this video if you did like this video do me a favor and hit the like button hit subscribe if you're new to my channel give me a follow on Instagram and I'll see you in my next video bye